Kildare Street is home to a diverse and distinguished collection of buildings from which we can learn a lot about the aspirations of previous generations of Dubliners. Since the 18th century it has been Dublin's most prestigious street and this has resulted in some of the most dramatic architectural statements to be seen in the city. The Earl of Kildare, later the first Duke of Leinster, built his townhouse here in 1745. It is a granite and limestone faced mansion, the largest Georgian house in Dublin. One famous resident was revolutionary family member Lord Edward Fitzgerald. Since 1924, the house has been home to the Irish Parliament, or Dáil, with the Duke's picture gallery serving as the Senate chamber. Between 1815 and 1924, the house was home to the Royal Dublin Society. The Society commissioned great buildings to house its collections, and these later became the National Museum and National Library of Ireland. Their design incorporates two Renaissance-style domes facing each other across a courtyard and their street facades echoed the design of St. Mark's Library in Venice. The first new government building commissioned by the Irish state is the Department of Industry and Commerce, begun in 1942. It is mostly in a Neo-Georgian style, but the corner stair tower incorporates a soaring Art Deco window. The building is decorated with sculptures, including one showing the Celtic god Lu launching a fleet of airplanes. The building had to wait six years for the installation of its lifts, as the manufacturer, Otis, was building armaments for the war effort. Nearby, number 30 was the home of Bram Stoker, the author of the famous Gothic horror, Dracula. Another architectural oddity on the street is number four, a Georgian townhouse that was refaced in an Art Deco style in the 1930s. Next door, the Venetian revival Kildare Street Club stands on the corner with Nassau Street. Among the carved details on this building are a group of monkeys playing billiards. Rounding off this terrace is the High Victorian Royal College of Physicians. In its short length, Kildare Street covers an array of architectural styles and periods. It reads like a walkthrough of Irish history, with the buildings of each era trying to outshine those of the past. 